This is another video brought to you by The Ichiban Productions Like, comment, subscribe So welcome everyone, happy days are here again We're back with another WrestleCrate unboxing This time we've got August 23 Now if you haven't seen my other reviews of WrestleCrate unboxings I'm going to post them up here, you can get caught up there if you like We are currently on strike one of three It was two of three but last month was so unbelievably epic I removed the strike so we're only on strike one Three strikes is a cancel, so WrestleCrate, you're doing well. I've had quite a few of these now. So what I do is I blind and box these. Have a, I don't have a look at it in advance. I just pull them out and give you my opinions, and we see what's inside. So that's enough talking. Let's open it up. I genuinely hope they live up to the standards of last month. First things first, reaching in. It is a t-shirt. But what t-shirt is it? It is a barely legal 97. Oh, no way. That looks awesome. Let's crack it open. Yes, it is barely legal 97. I absolutely marked out. I was totally right. It's Sabu, the man himself, versus Taz for the ECW World Championship. This logo is awesome. I love the design on the front of this. It's so large, you can't even see it all. So let's bring the bottom bit up. Philadelphia 97, live on pay-per-view, extreme wrestling. Oh, that is that is really, really nice t-shirt. Not sure if I'd wear it out. Actually, you know what? I think I might. You know, I'm not overly, you know, I think I like that enough to wear it out, I think. So, yes, that is a massive up. What a good start to this month. Better hope WWE don't see that wrestle crate. They'll be all over you. Next up, you know, it's not a loot crate without a pin. What pin have we got this month? We've got uh, cross face chicken wing. Ugh. Now, these ones, I don't know, maybe it may make people chuckle, but for me, it's just a bit cringe. Um, oh, it's not even a chase. I have had a chase before. This would only be saved with a chase. Not impressed with this one, I'm afraid. That is a down. Next up, we've got... Um, oh, it's one of those bangle things. The bracelet things. Uh, looks like Rowdy Roddy Piper. Let's have a look on the back. What have we got? Ah, uh, kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Uh, they lived. It is Rowdy Roddy Piper, of course. That's definitely more like they lived. That's the Rowdy Roddy Piper. We all know. Um, so, yeah. It's all right. They're not my sort of thing. Yeah. It's not a down. Oh. You know what? I'm taking that back. You see, it's interchangeable. I've never noticed that before. Can you see that in there? You can flip it over and you get different designs. I was going to down it. But you know what? It's just going to be an okay. That's not too bad. I tell you what ruined Rowdy Roddy Piper for me. It was Simpsons. Do you remember Rowdy Roddy Peeper? Oh, if you know, you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. Yeah, uh, yeah, but that definitely ruined Rowdy Roddy Piper just a little bit. Next up, we got ourselves, oh, more posters. Is it going to be good this month? I think last month's poster, or the last one we had was okay. It's a bit bent and crushed in already. I had a good start. Who have we got? We got ourselves, oh, Logan Paul from the Royal Rumble. Was an amazing spot, however... Not really poster worthy, but it's really poor quality this month. Look at how it's been folded. WrestleCrate, that is a massive down. Poor quality, not impressed with that. Uh, yeah, that's a down. This month isn't going so great. What do we got next? We've got the uh, the literature that comes inside. I ain't gonna look. Oh, it's the list of stuff. I ain't gonna look at that. You can see what's in the crate coming up if you want. And on the back, we've got a signature from Leah. That's not bad, not too bad. And then we've got ourselves, what's this one? Months, one month free of Title Match Network. That's not too bad. I think they do um, shoot interviews and stuff. That's not too bad. Uh, uh, but it's not even like it's not even like a free pay-per-view or anything. Just one month free. That is no good. <laughs> Temper tantrum. Uh, yeah, I'm really disappointed with that. I thought there'd be a free pay-per-view or something on YouTube. But no, that's just nothing. So not a down, just nothing. Next up, we've got either another poster or something. Oh, no, it's a signature. And there he is, the man himself. we got Wardlow. Not a big fan of Roy D. Magoo. Uh, although, you know, stuff you can do for a big man's pretty cool. Signature's all right. That silver's pretty good. Nice sort of shot of him. It's okay. However, you know what, WrestleCrate, your packing's just not great. Look how sort of it feels like it's a little bit bent already, which is disappointing. I think there's some stuff under this as well. Normally, that signature goes at the bottom, but there's stuff underneath it as well. So let's find out what has caused this signature to be not be super flat. I think this is a double signature month. Who have we got? We've got uh, Mercedes Martinez. Not sure who that is, but clearly they like DC. Um, quick, let's pause the video. Let's check out on uh, Google who this person is. You know what? I take it back. 
This person is apparently signed to AEW. I don't recall seeing her, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like she had quite a big career in uh, Ring of Honor and other stuff like that. So, yeah, not a dud signature. If you know who she is, it's probably amazing. For me, it's all right. Signature quality is pretty good. I do kind of like the photo ones as opposed to, you know, like the Wrestle Crate, which is the sort of uh, cartoony designer for them. So, yeah, I mean, that's all right. Two signatures. Let's give it up. So I think it's the last thing in the box and I think I might be able to forgive not having a YouTube show because we've got ourselves a DVD. We have got uh, Big Waves, Roy Johnson's something or other from this year. That's not too bad. Not too long ago. As seen on the WWE Network. Probably appeared in some sort of form. Um, nice to have a DVD back. And don't know who any of those are, but a DVD is a DVD. Fair play. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't give it anything other than an up. I like me a DVD. Um, not seen it, so can't comment. I'll have to uh, well, give it a watch. Boom, cheeky cut, and there we go. We got all the gimmicks right here, right now. Oh, this one is a tough month to call because there's a lot of tough, and there is, you know, a gem in there. The T-shirt is definitely a gem. DVD, I can't comment, but it's always nice to get a DVD. I think the poster is rubbish, but I also think it's awfully folded, so that's a definite down. I could live without those two, the badge I could pass with. Wardlow, I'm not overly impressed with. And Mercedes, ooh. this is a close one. I think, I'm afraid, it's going to have to be a <laughs> down. And it is going to be a strike. Can I strike the barely legal t-shirt? I don't know, I'm going to need to sleep on it. We'll have to figure out. Then the beginning of the next video, I'll let you know if it's a strike or not. Because I'm not too sure. Because I do really like that uh, t-shirt. I do really, really like t-shirt. After watching that clip back and thinking about it, I am going to allow this month, so it's no strike. We are only on one strike. And Wrestle Crate, that's by the skin of your teeth, that is, my friend. Uh, and it's only because the t-shirt is so epic, and last month was so good, it's brought yourself a little leniency this month. But don't push it next month, Wrestle Crate. I mean it. It will be strike two. Better be good next month, I'm telling you now. Before I do my usual spiel, I want to do a massive shout out to a true supporter of the channel. It is Wazhell1286. You know who you are. You mean the world to me with all your comments and support, honestly. Massive respect. Really appreciate it. Big thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a cheeky thumbs up. That tells the YouTube algorithm it was a great video and other people can see whether this sort of stuff is for them or not. Informed choices, that's what this channel is all about. If you've got any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. I reply to each and every comment. If you've got the time to say something, I will 100% reply. Don't you worry about that. And if you could press the subscribe button, it would mean the absolute world to me. I'm slowly but surely climbing the YouTube ladder to 1,000 subscribers to get some of that sweet, sweet YouTube money. <laughs> and free me from the tyranny of my day-to-day -day job. So go on, join me on the journey, press it. You know you want to. It'd be much appreciated. With that in mind, you know what I'm going to say. Look after yourselves, take care of the people around you, and most importantly, stay out of trouble.